moving to the country gonna find me some Mazda road trees so it's another day we're on the grind off on the fresh mesh uh, come along for the ride kind of see what we're gonna do uh, nothing too hardcore but this will lead to a pretty hardcore build down the track I reckon so um, stay watching to find out what we're up to today so we're here with the bro Sam so it's a Ferdingby Bridge uh, with a loud high pitch modification. I believe the motors run a bearing just due to old age. Um, the car, it's like an old show car this one. How long you had it for Sam? Uh, a couple of months, a few months. And um, basically, Sam tell us how you want to, tell me the engine package that you wanted me to fit first Sam. Tell me about that one. Well, I wanted to go straight to a uh, 20B uh, PP and I was given some great advice to not go straight to that and experience uh, a couple other modifications on a, on a, uh, on a 13B uh, through PP and whilst that it can be enjoyed, uh, build, the, build the 20B. So a bit more of a slower process but probably a more valuable process to ensure the longevity of the motor and, and also Sam I think it's good to, to teach you on the small motor first because um, the, the little bridgey like the little the little two row the motors they're still a lot of fun um, but the 20B like Robbie's car is a flipping monster mate um, I find you've got to tune the air and, and le learn a bit about like pre-mixing and, and looking after them but you've You've had performance cars before, eh, Sam? What was your previous cars, bro? Yeah, I totally agree. Well, my current car is a Dodge Ram, which isn't, doesn't do uh, much in that space, but... That's uh, a good tow car for your Mazda Rotary, bro. Yes, it is, a, it is a very good tow car. I've experienced quite a few tows so far, and uh, actually I bought this back from Christchurch on the back of the Ram, so that was handy. Uh, towed like a dream. Choice. And I've had quite a few 206, 186, the, the S13 chassis and uh, right back into the Mazda GDX days. Um, cool. Obviously all the gearboxes, all those situational challenges. And it was always a long life dream for me to have a, uh, not just a Rotary, but more so RX3. And, and how better to, uh, you know, drive into your dream with uh, having a couple of months and then the motor um, does what it does and breaks. So the important thing is the process of uh, putting this new motor in so we can get back to that uh, you know driving around before we get ready for that that track car street car uh, type situation yeah that's my that's the plan there brother man you guys have seen me pull a, pull a few motors out already like how many times have we pulled that engine out of that bongo van I've lost count um, so I don't know Sa Sam's seen a couple of the videos Sam you've, and, and you've kind of you've reached out to me and said hey you want to come work on my car yeah. so um I guess kind of my work speaks for itself and people see what I'm up to. Um, and, the, and, the, and the boys are keen to kind of get into the road of life. Yeah, can't uh, wait to the, do some burnouts. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon you might have to give me the keys, Sam. I'll, I'll show you how to do a couple if you want. Yeah, well, I've, heard uh, some, I've heard some great things that are coming in that burnout space, so uh, excited to see what happens there and, and 100%, definitely christen it. Uh, awesome, Sam. Good stuff, mate. Let's get into some work, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's go. So these are some holy shit. I gotta show the people this Sam. I'm not giving you shit when I say this. But your oil cooler mounts look like building strapping off joists that I'm looking up and I can see in your garage framing. You guys see that at home? That's some classic Kiwi ingenuity right there. <laughs> Like, it doesn't get much more ki much more Kiwi than that. Um, looks like maybe an aftermarket, it's still quite a sexy polished one. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's one of the aftermarket ones that one of the local suppliers sells. So not mega expensive to replace, but um, the peace of mind, and because we're putting a new motor in, I, I, we still may look at replacing it, Sam. Okay. I, I'd use it for a fresh car or like a backup jobby, but it's... When we're about to invest that like, good money into a new motor combo, if we, even if we get a cheapy like, well, 
We'll just buy a semi-decent one to get you going. Even the same kind of thing like that again. Yep. We'll do the, any, something that will just... Most of the, even those Chinese ones seem to do the job okay. But in the early days, these radiators, and I won't say that the, the brand that it is, but some of my friends were going that hard in burnout spray, we would bow them like bananas. Wow. And, and they'd still hold water, like just. Uh, some of them we had explode. And, and fully like rip, rip apart the welds. Yeah. But my friends were doing abnormal things to them mm. that not their normal customers probably wouldn't have. Thing is, when you're doing big gear, big revving, gear changing burnouts or freshing them out, they just they just can't handle the heat. Yeah, fair enough. the exhaust ports there and the apex seals were all still intact which is a good sign uh, but like I was saying to Sam the last time we came out we had the oil filter off and there's just copper all in that base like not big shrapnels like what I've seen before when I've run a bearing um, but real heavy fine gold dust so I think I'll cover this when I pull, pull it down the volley maybe the fully sweet when I when I if I film that maybe I don't know um, but basically we'll go through and sit, Get, see, give Sam the news and, and go from there of what he wants to do. Hey Sam, thanks heaps for letting me um, film your project bro. Um, it's gonna, got a bit of work to do to it. Like it, It's been done up like a long time ago this car. So it's got a few battle scars from some of the previous owners that have been a bit hard on it. But it's got some really good fruit. Like someone's gone around it. Possibly like the pack performance bezels. The, um, maybe a new bumper because the bumper's pretty tidy. And then the, the grill as well, I know this was really good, and the badge. I'm, I'm sure that might be the pack performance reproduction items. If anyone out there knows, maybe you just let me know. If you fellas know any history of the car, or one of your mates owned it or something. Um, one of your kids might have been conceived in that back seat. <laughs> Anything's possible. Well, they could be, could be, could be teenagers by now, yeah, Sam, be, you know. They'll be adults now. So, um, depends, but... Um, bro, thank you very much, Sam. Cheers, heaps for letting us film your car, bro, and your build. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure the viewers will be keen to see how this unfolds along the way. Oh, also, awesome, Sam, too mickey, bro. Like a good shit, bro. Sweet, bro. Kill the bro. Um, the bro hooked us up. This uh, quarter drive torque wrench. It's only a little baby one, but he, he had a real cool idea of like uh, me starting to give some stuff away. So he wanted to help get the ball rolling. Uh, so shout out, shout out to Sam. Um, I won't mention his business just yet. We'll keep that private. We'll see how the bro, the bro goes if he wants to progress with that. But um, so Sammy's a good bugger that I've got to know just through some friends of friends and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I've got to think of something for one of you lucky guys or girls out there to receive this. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I feel like um, I feel like you need to message me. Maybe tell me why you deserve it. Tell me why. You need that torque wrench in your life. Now, you might not be able to, I don't know about messaging me on YouTube. You can reach me on Facebook or my Instagram. Message me on there, Charlie Stanaway. I want to hear from you the best excuse why you need that torque wrench in your life. And I've got to go, I've just had a friend, the beaver, turn up. So, this is going to be interesting, but the bro's not ready to be filmed yet. Well, it could be. See, this could be really funny. I wonder if I should film him, mate. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are we? I'm fucking wonderful, Beaver. So we, so we, we just give you that code name. Everyone's going to wonder why I give everyone nicknames. Just come stand here a oh. bit more, bro. Hello. <laughs> 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 
I don't know. I don't know if you wanted to be on camera or not. Oh, we're well, out Yeah, and I thought the best thing to do was just fucking like spring it on you. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna film everything. You're yeah. gonna get your ride on the shit, all right? Yeah. But um, there you go. You're gonna get some views now. <laughs> So, give us, just, just introduce yourself to my channel briefly, Beaver. Uh, Beaver's an old workmate of mine that I've got to know. Should have probably bleeped that bit out, but that's all right. I'm not really fucking worried about well, that gonna, anymore. You're a lot more worried about than bleeping just that out. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything to bleep this guy out enough. I might have to stop filming now because he is so raw that I don't know if you guys are ready for the Beaver yet. Like, he's a Speedway guy. He hangs around Waikaraka Park, so he's a real sick deviant. Um, you've just walked into my, my weekly wrap, well not my weekly wrap up, but my daily wrap up of the shit that I've been up to today. There you go, just got better then. I was just looking for those before when I lifted that motor out, and that's where they were. Um, BB, you know what, I'm going to save you for another time, because we've got, a bit of, we've got a bit of catching up to do. We do. And it's going to be explicit, and it's going to be far too explicit for camera, unfortunately. You might get banned um, off Facebook or whatever that is. Uh, this is all going on YouTube, bro. Oh, you're, you're going to get banned yeah. off YouTube if they yeah. don't <laughs> uh, Beaver, I've decided that Beaver was, Beaver's going to be a special guest star. I just don't know when yet. Um, I'm possibly, I see the bro is going to a memorial night in Huntley for a bloke called Dirty Keith. Dirty Keith uh, used to come to the burnout comps with me and Billy uh, up north in Dargaville. Uh, he'd do a bit of all sorts of motorsport, uh, but how I know him is through burnouts and men's night promotions, uh, we won't get into that. But um, as you can explain, this title's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and everyone used to know the bros commie back in the day around the burnout scene, well that's how I know him. Turns out all the boys know him from Speedway as well. Um, so th there's bros like that that have been huge influences on all of us growing up in different ways. But um, I reckon, I, I think I'm gonna try and get to Huntley, I can't guarantee it. If I don't get to Huntley, I'm, I'm going to come to a demo derby one night or something. Like, that's... And I'm going to enter. Because you know what? I've never done one, bro. you got to do one. you got to at least do one in your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's like anything, yeah. Hey, you got to experience it. Yeah. And it'll be awesome content, too. 100%. You know what? That's fucking game on. Get Challenge a, accepted. Get a GoPro in there. She'll I be right. still want to go to maybe try and get down to the Dirty Keith Memorial, but, too, I think that'd be a good way. I haven't been to the Speedway for ages, so it could be a good laugh as well. But, um, Tumeke, thanks, everyone, for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the little baby talk wrench. Um, look, I, I just I just want to hear a good reason why you why you want this and why I should give it to you. Um, I could make up a whole lot of things of how I'm going to give it away, but I'd rather just you know someone that might need tools or something. And as I can, I'm going to find some other stuff to give away. I think Sam might have stumbled onto something cool there. So, um, Tumeke, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, subscribe to the bro. <laughs> Stop, Fever. I hate saying that.